welcome to this video lesson. I'm Emily from Mactala Tutoring and today we are going to learn a traditional reel called the Gentle Milkmaid which is in the key of B minor and then D major. Um, it's worth maybe having a quick go at these scales before we go any further if you want to pause me um, and then I'm going to play the tune full speed for you just so you can get a feel for it uh, before we break it down and learn it part by part. So before we go any further, um, if this is a new tune to you, I would recommend listening through a few times uh, just so that you can get the tune in your head and it's a lot easier to pick it up by ear then. Um, so feel free to pause the video and listen. Um, if not, we will carry on. Um, okay, so I'm going to play through the first half of the tune for you, nice and slowly, and using separate bows so it's a bit easier to hear the different notes. Uh, here we go. second half's all fairly straightforward, probably the bit that you'll find the most difficult will be that third finger switch from the A to the E string. Um, at, that, at the speed we've just played it, it's okay to move your finger, but there's, the trick is to try and cover both strings, um, which will make life a lot easier for you when it's sped up as well. Um, you know, either rolling your finger or flattening. Um, whatever works for you. So have a play with that and remember rewind it, get comfortable because next up we are going to try putting the two together. Okay so whole tune A part and B part together. Uh, I'll play it through once with repeats at about the same tempo and then again slightly faster.
okay so that's the whole tune well done everybody uh, let us know how you got on in the comments and um, remember doesn't matter if you didn't get it in that one run through just keep rewinding it having a go um, so the last thing we really will give a quick mention to is grace notes um, as you probably know grace notes and bowing and things can be quite personal um, I think that the you, you kind of know what you want to add in um, you get a feel for it but I don't actually add very many grace notes into this tune to be honest um, I'll give a quick mention to the ones I do I like a good slide into the beginning of the tune you know instead of coming straight in with your yeah, there's quite a few places you can play around with that slide of the first finger in this tune because it's quite repetitive so it's good to do something a little bit different each time um, there's also a lot of notes where you're playing the same same one, same note one after the other so uh, something you can often do is add in a cut which is where you just flick a finger above it instead of playing the two notes, something to play with as well um, but yeah that probably is about all I ever really mix it up with um, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it um, if you'd like if you've got any comments or questions feel free to message us on the um, comments below or find us on Facebook or Instagram and if you're interested in any one-to-one -one lessons then please do get in touch. Thank you!